Work is doing it. Discipline is doing it every day. Diligence is doing it well every day. You must gain control over your money or the lack of it will forever control you. Where you are today is the sum of every choice you've ever made. If you don't like where you are, start making different choices. Earning a lot of money is not the key to prosperity. How you handle it is. Pray like it all depends on God but work like it all depends on you. Being willing to delay pleasure for a greater result is a sign of maturity. You've got to tell your money what to do or it will leave. In order to be a great marketer, you have to be focused and intense and look at scarcity, urgency, activity and passion in the marketplace. Goals are visions and dreams with work clothes on. The decision to go into debt alters the course and condition of your life. You no longer own it. You are owned. If you will live like no one else, later you can live like no one else. If you aren't really careful, the good enough can become the enemy of the best. Feeling lost? Take a dream and convert it into small goals, then start taking the steps to hit those goals. Those who don't manage their money will always work for those who do. Broke is normal. Why be normal? A good financial planner is going to do more than pick your funds. Money is 80% behavior, 20% head knowledge. It's what you do, not what you know. Nothing happens without focus. Don't try to do everything at once. Take it one step at a time. The world will try to tell you that you need stuff to be somebody. Don't listen. When getting help with money, whether it is insurance, real estate or investments you should always look for a person with the heart of a teacher, not the heart of a salesman. If people in America would get their finances together and start taking care of each other, we could put the government out of business. Change is painful. Few people have the courage to seek out change. Most people won't change until the pain of where they are exceeds the pain of change. Save three to six months of expenses in a rainy day fund. Know why? Cause it is going to rain, and you aren't the exception. It's never too late to turn things around. You are the only obstacle. A budget is telling your money where to go instead of wondering where it went. Money is not good or evil. It has no morals or intentions on its own. Money reflects the character of the user. We live in a culture full of hares, but the tortoise always wins. Every person falls down at some point. Successful people choose to get back up. The first step in taking control of your money is to stop borrowing money. Start using cash today. Wealth comes from hard work but not because of hard work. Wealth comes because of God. Everything is His. Contentment is both the fruit and the tree. You have the clean canvas of a whole week before you. Paint well. More wealth doesn't fix your life. More wealth makes you more of what you already are. True leadership is servanthood. Put the interests of others at the center of your decisions. You can get anywhere if you simply go one step at a time. Outrageous generosity is a character quality of people who win with money. When you create a basic budget and stick to it, it will suddenly seem like you have more money. 
Doing a budget means learning an ancient and powerful word, no. Financial winners don't run sprints, they run marathons. They don't rush. They do it step by step over time. You will only sacrifice when you passionately believe in the outcome. Investing is important but get debt free first. That's what frees up your income so you can win. Servant leadership is the only hashtag leadership that ultimately works. Poor is a state of mind. Broke is, I'm just passing through. You can't be in debt and win. It doesn't work. We learned early on that if we help enough people, the money will come. If you come with mercy but not justice, that's called enabling. Leading a family is the hardest job a man can ever have. Contentment may be the most powerful financial principle. You can give more, avoid debt, and live better. How you handle or mishandle your money tells us who you are and, more important, it tells you who you are. Your priorities, passions, goals, and fears are shown clearly in the flow of your money. Your value system, or lack of one causes money to flow around you, past you, or to you. When money is in your possession, what you do with it screams loudly who you are. Success is a pile of failure that you are standing on. Too many people try to do the new job, new spouse, new house, new car thing in 18 months. That's a good way to end up broke. We've got to resist the temptation to catch up with our parents in 18 months. Slow down. You have the rest of your life to play catch up. After all, it's just stuff. Ideas are a dime a dozen. People who execute them are not. Rich isn't an amount of money, it's a mindset about how you live. If you believe you can win, you can. Gratitude is really, really attractive. A child who is genuinely grateful makes you want to do anything for her, and that is true of adults as well. Bosses push, leaders pull. Real leadership is servant leadership. I'm a Christian. Years ago, I went broke, so I decided to run every part of my life according to the Bible. It sounds hokey, but it works. You run your marriage that way, and it works. It will work with business, too, and finances. Treat people like you want to be treated. Broke people giving financial advice is like a shop teacher with missing fingers. The paid off home mortgage has taken the place of the BMW as the status symbol of choice. Debt gives you the ability to look like you're winning when you're not. Winning at money is 80% behavior and 20% head knowledge. What to do isn't the problem, doing it is. Most of us know what to do, but we just don't do it. If I can control the guy in the mirror, I can be skinny and rich. Making mistakes and learning from them is crucial to winning. Surround yourself with people who add the fuel of advice and encouragement to your fire. People are in such a hurry to launch their product or business that they seldom look at marketing from a bird's eye view and they don't create a systematic plan. A lower interest rate doesn't make a debt go away. Remember, there's ultimately only one way to financial peace, and that's to walk daily with the Prince of Peace, Christ Jesus. If you will make the sacrifices now that most people aren't willing to make, later on you will be able to live as those folks will never be able to live. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below.
subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.